here on the tractor. Uh, Brandon just put the second coat on. We went and got us uh, one of these little 3M suits uh, to put on to keep from, and you can see how much red it's got on it. Works out really good. Yesterday he had to scrub to get clean. Ah, right, well there it is. Uh, let me see if I can get a little closer. I'll put my light on it too. That's uh, the second coat on it. Um, we're going to take and go in there and blank those holes off right there. That was for the turn signals. And all the wiring's pretty much been ripped off of this tractor other than the the uh, ignition wiring and stuff and safety switches. Uh, there's that. Um, Brandon looked and the grill that we had painted gray to go in here was supposed to be black. So we painted it black. Got it blacked out. And then we got the headlight one here, the bracket for it hung up and painted and it'll be the one that's in the center there and that big one goes down on the bottom and I've got to make one to go in there today so we can start getting it done I've got a, the pattern already and you can see how kind of how shiny that I had a few scratches on top I sanded a lot of them out but you can see kind of how shiny that gray part there is and um, let me go see if I can get over in here without hitting any of these um, this is the, uh, all the little pieces around the front that, that hook in, uh, some of the other plates. It's just got a, there's the part of the, where you can get down into the battery, the little cover for the battery. It got, kind of goes down in that little cutout spot right there. Uh, the fenders are turning out really good. They have a really good shine to them. I don't know. Yeah, you can see my fingers in there. Um. I mean, they're not going to be, you know, car quality or showroom tractor quality, but uh, they're pretty shiny. Um, like I say, I'll try to just keep doing some of these videos and keep it up. That spot that was there is gone now. The second coat on it took care of it. There were, was a little spot that was running kind of down in there, and it took care of it on this fender over here too. The front one there is for the radiator and the other one's for the diesel fuel. That's where you fill it fill it up with diesel fuel. And there's some of the uh you can well you can see my hands kind of swinging in the thing there. I don't know how good this will show up on YouTube. I mean it's showing up really good on my phone and it's showing up really good on me looking at it, but um sometimes the uh YouTube Unless you do it on real high quality, and most people don't watch it on high quality. So, like I say, uh, you can see the plastic in that there. So, yeah, you can see my hand. I know you'll be able to see that on YouTube. Um, so, uh, we've got that there. And let's see if I can get my, get my light on. You can kind of see where we got this back side here. Um... The light on my phone's not the best light in the world. But uh yeah, it's going. Um we're getting there. We just turned Brennan's little garage here into a little paint booth right now. The floor, I don't know what we're gonna do there. I don't know how we're gonna get it up. Um that might be something we ended up taking and buying some of that garage floor paint and painting this floor afterwards. But it is what it is. Like I told Brandon, the only thing we could have done was bought, you know, about five sheets of plywood and laid down in here. And then when we got through, took them out and put them over there next to the tractor. But it'll work out. Here and we're putting, this is the third coat. Uh, you can see the, you can actually see, I've got an orange shirt on. You can see my hand kind of waving in the um, paint there. Um... See if I turn my light on there. Yeah, there you go. That's a little bit better. I'll show you how shiny it is. Uh, um, we're getting one more coat is all we're going to put on it. So um, we're getting there. We've got these uh, painted black now. I think we're just going to leave the bars in the center gray. And um, I took the headlight one down because I, I got a grill made for the top right there. I just used some expanding metal and a piece of sheet metal. And um, cut it out and put that expanded metal in it, and it'll go in the top right there. Um, we'll see how it does. I mean, we 
probably won't do a lot of bush hogging, but if we do, uh, we may have to end up going in there and putting some kind of a screen, some kind of something to catch all the little little stuff off when you're bush hogging, you know, to keep it from getting all off down in there in the radiator. But you can reach in from the bottom right in there and clean out the radiator so it's not that big of a deal. Uh, it was this, what I had. I wish I'd had some smaller expanded metal. Uh, this is the uh, third coat on all of this. Um, you can see now how shiny it is. Like I say, I've got an orange shirt on, but you can see my hand there. There's the underneath, and you can see how shiny it's getting. You can see the light. Yeah, no, stay out there. It's messy in here. Uh, that was my little grandson. Um, they've been wanting to come in here since we started, but there's the... Let me turn my light on. Well, there it is. Um, it's hard to tell. It's so dark over in here. But we've got two places right there that there's um, stickers that we covered. And here's the hood. Um, go ahead and turn the light off. But yeah, you can see yourself in it. I mean, I don't know. You can probably see me uh, see my head moving right there. So yeah, it's getting glossy. Uh, looking at it, I mean, it's, you know, I mean, it's not as smooth as a car because we didn't do the uh, prep work as much as for like a, you know, if we was going to be painting a car or something, we didn't, you know, do a bunch of wet sandings and stuff like that, you know. Um, we just throwed some primer on it and sprayed it, so. And the metal was a little bit, you know, wasn't the smoothest metal in the world. I mean, we could have took a lot more time. Like right now, you can see where stuff's hit it from underneath. Um, we didn't take the time to do a lot of straightening and a lot of stuff like that, but. Uh, it's a tractor, you know. So, like I say, there's all the little pieces. I mean, there's the little battery cover. So you can see right there, it's got a little blemish right in there. I mean, it's. I mean, if I was going to be taking it and showing it or something, then I would probably go ahead and do a lot of bondoing and you know straightening metal and stuff like that. But yeah, it's just a tractor. I don't want to bondo on a tractor, so. All right, well, there's the floor, what it's looking like. Um, let me kick this over. There's how much red's in here on the floor. So, I don't know how we're going to get this up. We'll just have to figure it out when we get through. Like I said, we may end up pulling everything out of the garage and painting the floor. But there it is. We'll uh, hit you on the next one. I'm just going to blend all these videos together. So, uh... I'll take the last one and uh, all the paint on this and then I'll start on the tractor when we start painting it.